O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, tis meet that man should yield to God the life he owes. Alleluia. No shame to own the crucified, Nay, tis our immortality that we confess our God who died and for him die. Alleluia! Beholding his predestined crown into death's arms the martyr goes dying he conquers death overthrown or throws his foes, Alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true. Grant us brave faith, a spirit pure, that for your name, your cross in view, we may endure, Alleluia. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. My heart is ready, O God, I will sing, sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, help with your right and in reply. From his holy place God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure at the valley of Sakoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. More I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God? And no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will tremble down our foes. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, 
and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until her vindication goes forth as brightness, and her salvation as a burning torch. The nation shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate, but you shall be called my delight in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and salvation. I will praise my God all my days. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music, my God, while I live. Put no trust in princes, immortal men in whom there is no hell. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is held by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry. The Lord has set prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind, who raises up those about down. The Lord protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I will praise my God all my days. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles, so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles, using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Just as we have a share in Christ's many sufferings, so also through Christ we share in his great help. These were holy men, they will live forever. These were holy men, they will live forever. The Lord himself is their reward. These were holy men, they will live forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. These were holy men, they will live forever. 
Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up as a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and say from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence, as few little child you shall be called. O prophet of God the Most High, you shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, Visit us like the dawn from an high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right. This is the kingdom of heaven. Through the martyrs who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who took up your cross, Grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, you have created all nations, you and you are their salvation. In the land of Korea, 
your call to Catholic faith, form the people of adoption, whose growth you nurtured by the blood of Andrew, Paul, and their companions. Through their martyrdom and their intercession, grant us strength that we too may remain faithful to your commandments, even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.